All right, hey you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new unit for you guys from XRS Beauty. So this unit is their silky straight texture, you guys. It's 22 inches and 150% density, but there is something a little bit different on this unit. So most wigs have double knots, but this particular wig has single knots. So the difference is double knots are basically um, harder to bleach, they're more obvious. You guys know when you see them, they just look like really big black dots on the unit. But this particular unit I'm wearing is single knotted. So single knots are smaller in size, obviously, than a double knot. Um, they are easier to bleach and they give a more natural appearance on the hairline. Double knots are gonna be a little bit more obvious because it's double knotted. If you guys don't know, I'm a really big fan of XRS Beauty. Um, my first time working with them was last year and I absolutely love every time I work with them. I think their wigs are amazing. And I know a lot of people out there feel the exact same way that I do. I'm not just making this up. Another thing with this unit is it's gonna be a little bit less um, versus the clear lace unit that I feel like XRS put that on the map. It is my absolute favorite lace, you guys. It just blends so seamlessly. This one doesn't have clear lace, but it's also more affordable. So even though this is not a clear lace unit, you guys, they still did a good job with giving you that natural appearance, that layered edge that you, you guys know what I'm talking about, that they are known for, um, and also just making it easier on your pockets. So yeah, you guys, that's all the black I'm gonna do. Just want to explain to you really quickly. Let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. All right, y'all, so just starting off with slicking my hairline back and then gonna take my brown wig cap. I love brown color that's closest to my skin tone since I don't do the ball cap method and I'm just gonna pop that on. And here you're gonna see XRS gave me a lot of goodies. You've got some um, flexi rods in here, comb, another brown wig cap that I love. You do have the option to have them go ahead and lightly bleach your knot, so that's one less thing you have to do. But here's a close up shot of the single knots I was talking to you guys about right along the hairline. And you also get that layered edge look for a very natural finish. And from here, you guys gonna just do what I always do, pop this on using my hairspray. I use the TG hairspray. Everything that I'm using as far as product goes is gonna be in the description box as well as all the details to this unit. Strangely enough, XRS wigs always fit me like perfectly and I have a larger size head, but this one was a little bit on the smaller size and it could also be because my hair is not as flat as it has been in the past. I could have used a little bit more room, but I did my best to make it work like I always do. So I was able to do a deep middle part with this unit. Um, so just keep that in mind. I love deep middle parts. Um, I think they're just super chic. But anyways, just gonna use my TG wax stick like I always do and use my hot comb to get my part nice and straight, you guys. I have had this hot comb for almost four years. I paid $20 for it and it, I think it's starting to go out on me, you guys. So it's, it's it was a sad day for me. I was like, I, I think it's time for me to get a new one, but rest in peace to this hot comb because it's still doing its job, but you know, it's not as hot as it used to be. But for $20, I got my money's worth. So next you guys, just gonna pop these hair grippers on so that my little hair can stay in place. And then just gonna do some really light baby hair. If you have been following me, I said in one of my like previous videos, I really wanted to um, kind of ease up on the baby hair. And especially, I ease up a lot, especially when I'm doing um, like a straight unit like this one. I kind of go a little bit heavier with it or a little bit more dramatic when I do curly hair or something that has texture. But today I was keeping it really light 
and keeping it as natural as possible. I feel like doing sideburns when it comes to straight wigs is so difficult for me because I like try not to look like Elvis Presley or like Ashanti with these really long um, like sideburns. But then it's like a fine line. I feel like curly hair and sideburns work so much better. But anyways, maybe I should just give them up. I don't know. Anyways, you guys, so I put on a little bit of makeup. Let's go ahead and get into the details of this hair. I feel like it had been a minute since I've done my favorite style, which if you do not know me, if you are new here, I love a middle part in straight sleek hair. I just think it's just, it just suits me really well. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm using my Croc flat iron. If you have not picked up this flat iron, it is a little bit to me on the pricier side, but it is well worth it. I do have like the one inch and I know this is a lot of hair, but this is just such a really, really great flat iron, you guys. I got mine from Ulta. Um, I will link it down below in the description box just in case you're interested. But yeah, just gonna do the chase method, you guys, with this hair. Y'all, right here, I was watching P Valley, so I was I was all into the music right now. But yeah, doing the chase method with this hair. The hair, by the way, it was nice and full enough for me, especially for this look. Um, the hair was soft. I have no complaints, no shedding, no anything. It's just, you know, just typical, typical hair for me, and that's a good thing. There's nothing bad to say about it. I do typically wash my hair, wash my wigs before I put them on. I really just did not have have the time today I had the busiest day today I had to actually get dressed dressed not just get dressed for camera uh, we were going to the arcade and the go-kart riding for my husband's event here and so yeah just yeah just had to get dressed to see his co-workers blah 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 anyways I just didn't have any time but I'm pretty sure this unit would have came out a little bit um, fuller with a little bit more body as well and not as silky which tends to happen especially after that first wash you kind of get a better idea how the texture and the hair is going to be which is always even better to me than when you first pull it out of the box so um next you guys i just added a few layers to this wig i was kind of going for that early 2000s sort of kind of vibe you know with the you know with the layers in the front like framing your face um i didn't go in too crazy but just added a few right there curled them in and then that was pretty much it for this look you guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you like this look if you have any questions comments all that great stuff please put them down below um i am back i'm back it's been a minute i feel like since i've actually been working and posted i took a little vacation um this july and it was much needed went to go visit my family in dallas and all that good stuff but i'm back so i will be answering any questions comments that you guys have also check the description box just in case i have any coupon codes on this unit don't forget to like and subscribe and i will talk to you guys in my next